Hi, we're here with Roy May Mayorga of Stone Sour. And uh, Roy, I want to ask you about symbols in general, uh, as well as uh, the Paragon that you're using. So uh, tell me about your symbol setup today. Uh, it consists of, uh, I'll start with the rides, a uh, Roy Mayorga signature ride. Uh, it's really heavy, thick ride. Mm -hmm. It pretty much sounds like a hammer hitting an anvil. Do you really have to pound that to get uh, to, to overdrive it or really get? No, no, not really. I mean, I, I designed it to, it's a, it's a little heavier than a, than, you know, <laughs> than a heavy ride. <laughs> but it's designed to, um, for situations where there's no mic on the ride symbol. So it cuts through everything. Even even in a you know in a big hall or a small room, it cuts no matter what. So when you're in a club, you're really hearing that symbol. You're oh, yeah. No, you're not at all. It cuts through everything. It's pretty awesome. Um, above that, I, I use I have like a, a 12 inch ice bell, mm -hmm. which acts as a, another counter accent mm -hmm. to the ride that I have. I also use a bunch of assorted uh, uh, radio bells. Mm -hmm. Those are very interesting sounds. I love those sounds. Yeah, I think um, yeah, Terry Fazio came up with that concept. That Bless them on that. <laughs> They're great, great symbols. I, I love using them. It, it, it adds a lot of uh, texture and color to what I do. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? 22-inch uh, HH Chinese. Uh, it's a Bill Ward signature. I use that as my main um, china on my right. Along with so you get a lot of Chinese overtones and wash out of it. Yeah. It just cuts, and it also has this nice uh, medium length sustain to it mm -hmm. kind of throaty but it has the top end a little bit to to uh, you know go go along with it with uh, also I have uh, I use uh, his main crash is a uh, AAX 20 inch mm -hmm. along with uh, two APX 19 and 20 for more accenting yeah. and uh, I sometimes go back and forth between an APX uh, 15 inch hi hats to uh, AA rock bottoms put together well, those are big hats. Yeah. Another, th another thing, they cut. They just cut. I mean, because the guys I'm playing with, I mean, they, their back line is just insanely loud, so I need to have something that's that acoustically it's going to be able to cut through them, you know, no matter what. So it's it's heavy. It gives it a higher pitch yeah. that you can really rely on. Really and lay into it and not worry about it, you know, yeah. breaking them or anything. So, <laughs> so when did you when did you add uh, Paragon to that set? As soon as it came out. <laughs> I was like, wow, okay, Neil Peart design symbol. I am definitely going to check it out. And I, I loved all of them. They're great. But the china really stuck out to me the most because it, it's this, it's, it's a smaller china, but it's got this really low, deep pitch. Uh -huh. And it's such a it's long. It's really thin on the, on, the, on the edge here. Yeah. <laughs> this thing lasts forever. Like really deep and low. I like uh -huh. that. Yeah, it's, it's like a. I think it's a war symbol. <laughs> you go out and spear people with it. I mean, it, it definitely complements the rest of the symbol setup I have. Uh -huh. and it, it sounds great when I'm going between the, the, the hi hats and this together. It's just got a nice, uh, what do you call it? What's the word? A nice, uh, a nice color to it. 